Uh, good morning. Welcome to Soapbox Slam, where I get on my soapbox and I slam things that I see going on. Um, today is a little bit of a slam on, on a, a commentator named Ben Shapiro. This man is a very disgusting man. Uh, absolutely disgusting. First of all, he is a hyper Jewish person. Um, he's Orthodox or hyper Jewish or whatever you want to call it, but um, he uh, is a is, he's a uh, <laughs> I don't know if he has a radio show as well, a podcast personality, um, and he is an ultra conservative, uh, not even an ultra conservative like a Republican ultra conservative. Um, he's a religious ultra conservative. And his religion is Judaism, or Jewish, or whatever you want to. However, you know, <laughs> I, I am specifically making insinuatory, insinuatory words um, because of who this man is. Um, this man is very, very, very vile. Um, there isn't an, an ounce of compassion, empathy or love for anybody else who's not Jewish. And that is apparent in everything he states. If you watch the things that he says and the things that he does, if you are not Jewish, he'll, depending on your IQ level and your wealth, he will sit down and talk to you, berate you and, um, and, and, and let you know how smart he is and how right he is but you yourself are ignorant and stupid. Uh, and I use the word ignorant and stupid and other derogatory words out of his the things that he says. This man is a very, very despicable kind of person. Um, and and first of all, he's he's beyond classist. He just did a post, which I watched, which is which inspired me to this um, to this this slam. Right. Me getting on my soapbox and slamming this man. Um, I've always wanted to slam him before, and 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 you know, I, he, he, first of all, um, you will never have a conversation with him because he will talk over you. He will talk over you. He will try to out talk you, um, and and he is not going to receive any opinion or anything else that you have to say. He may sh he may shut up and let you speak, but he's not going to hear your position, have empathy or compassion or anything like that for your circumstances or anything like that. If you are not a Jewish person, an Orthodox Jewish who practices the religion to his standard, by golly, you are worth nothing. Okay. Now I have, like I said, I have, I, you know, of course he would never ever have a conversation with me. Um, I'm just a poor nigger who, um, you know, is a blue collar worker and whatever else. So I'm irrelevant in his world. <laughs> and the only way I would be relevant if I was some sort of political leader or if I had some sort of political tout um, or a following of some sort that would contend with him um, in the sense that he could kind of get on, on screen and berate me um, and try to make me feel stupid um, and, 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 and tout how ignorant and dumb and basically a nigger, a black person who's irrelevant and a non-Jew since, you know, I'm not chosen by God to exist in this world. Um, this is the kind of man that he is. People like Ben Shapiro are the very reason nobody can negotiate, nobody gets along, nobody wants to have compassion or love thy enemy, love thy neighbor, right? You know, he, he touts his religious um, uh, devotion but he does not practice his religion the way it should be practiced. And, you know, this man, what sparked all this is I sat here and listened to him. He tried to imitate Joan Rivers, which, okay, you're imitating a woman's show. First of all, you're a man. You you believe in all these roles. Your, your orthodox religion, men this, women, women that, you know, and, and they are subservient to their men in your own religion. Why are you getting on public podcasts, social media, and 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 ridiculing, which is what you did? You completely ridiculed um, every person's outfit on the Grammys. First of all, you already dismissed the Grammys as um, uh, unworthy, anyways. But beyond dismissing the Grammys as unworthy, 
on several occasions you insulted every artist telling saying that they were poor so money is a uh, money weird money is a motivating factor for you and if you do not have money you are not worthy of anything based on the your comments you're the one who made everything about money mr shapiro you are the one that got on that damn podcast and sat there and ridiculed every artist and say oh and she's poor too well she's poor well they're poor this is poor i mean what is your obsession with money dude first of all number number one number two you are secretly a faggot i mean you are secretly a faggot you are secretly a homosexual man you are secretly a homosexual jewish man like i i have no idea why you are engaging in ridiculing the fashion of uh, of the Grammys. First of all, that's not even your arena. You are no Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers, I mean, first of all, your, your sense of humor to ridicule something that doesn't meet your standard, you still don't do it the way Joan Rivers does it. And Joan Rivers had been in the industry as a commentator, not only as a comedian, which you are not. You are not a comedian. So your profession isn't comedy. Your profession is simply right wing Jewish conservatism and your profession is commentation on 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 that type of stuff politics and and how righteous and how you and your opinion are the only chosen opinion by God and nobody else should exist because you are chosen and your opinions are the only ones that matter okay so why why don't you stick to what you know dude you're, you're not a woman, or maybe you secretly are. You're not Joan Rivers as much as you would like to be a comedian and everything else. You're not that. So what reason do you have to get on your, your, your platform and start talking about the people's clothing in, 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 in the Grammys? Now, that's not to say, Mr. Shapiro, that I don't actually disagree with um, your opinions of how people are dressing in society. I actually think you're partially right about that um but let's also take into consideration you, and this is where you lack empathy this is where you lack compassion this is where you lack the words of your own fucking religion dude like you have you, you do not understand what you tout so hard because you are not the purveyor of judgment jury executioner standards and everything else your job as a human being on earth and one of your Abrahamic religions or uh, uh, um, 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 mandates is to love thy neighbor. You are not in the position to judge. You are not a rabbi, and maybe you are a rabbi, but if that's your practice, dude, <laughs> then I don't think that you're going to have a lot of followers and everything else. You certainly aren't as successful as other rabbis. But I, I'm telling you right now, man, your approach is foul. And I'm not saying that some of the comments that you have aren't accurate. I, I agree. The way people are dis, are dressed and presenting themselves, it, 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 it does a complete disservice to society. Absolutely. But they are also a reflection of our society. They are a reflection of what humanity is going through right now. They are a reflection of the things that are going on in our society. Now, you can say our problems in our society is because not everybody's Jewish and not everybody thinks and acts and behaves the way you expect them to think, act and behave. And that's a part of the problem. That is a part of the reason why our society is so fractured. You fail as a human being. You fail. And you fail as a... Um, follower of the Abrahamic religions. You fail completely. And and your problem, you sow discord and disgust and animosity and 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 and, and tribalism. That's what you sow. That is what your attitude and behavior is. You sat there and talked about every artist that you put on your screen. You ridiculed everything that they wore. You insulted their 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 intelligence you insulted them by not being wealthy the only the only person that you actually had any positive comment for was somebody who was jewish everybody else you have disdain for and it's apparent you are beyond a bigot and 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 i don't like to throw the round where i do not like to throw around the word racist because it is misused in this day and age 
and, and, and people don't understand the dis delineations between racism, bigotry, and prejudice. But you, my son, you are a definite bigot. And past bigot, you are borderline a racist. And what makes you a racist, Mr. Shapiro, is the fact that your religion suggests that you are the only chosen people out of 300 billion people on this earth. You are the only, your group, your 10% of the world population is the only group entitled to be blessed. That is about superiority. And racism is about superiority and power. And that's what you tout. And what's going on and you and all of your comments about what's going on in the Middle East. Let me tell you this, brother. In my opinion, you, the Muslims, and the Christians do not deserve the Holy Land. And as far as I'm concerned, I would blow up the whole area with a nuclear bomb and take it away from all of you guys. Because you do not practice the religion the way the Abrahamic religion is supposed to be practiced by all three religions. You got it wrong. And I'll tell you that to your face. You're a foul person. You getting on there and acting like a woman like Joan Rivers and making your little commentaries about fashion stay in your lane bro stick to what you should know and what you should know is only your religion stick to that talk about that shit but you getting on there talking that shit about 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 the grammys you're foul your presentation is foul and it's not the idea even though you i don't know why any man would want to sit up there and ridicule fashion that's a woman's place, right? And I'm I, and, and and any of my other viewers and anybody else who's listening to this, please understand that I, I'm I'm speaking in terms of of, uh, of hyper gender uh, roles because that's the life that Ben Shapiro lives out of, and that's what he espounds, and that's what he thinks is the the total way to live. Um, there's no there's no gray area with this man. So in his black and white world, that's why I'm speaking in that in those in those terms. But I will say this, and I, whether this gets to him or not, I, I will post this directly on his site. I will post this to his email, and I hope that he sees what I have to say to him. And I'm posting this on my own social media platforms. But that man is a foul, foul, foul person. Just foul. Absolutely foul. Every comment that he made about the Grammys had nothing to do with the way Joan Rivers does fashion uh, criticism and everything else. Everything that he did was rooted in um, was rooted in in in, in um, denigration, pure denigration, pure from a concept of his superior his superior opinion. That's how you did that. That was not done from like a Joan Rivers comedy sketch where she's making jokes as she talks about it and she talks pros and cons. You failed miserably. You failed miserably in doing that. And what you have succeeded in is showing who your true nature is, which is what I thought all the time. You're a very evil person. You're a very nasty person. You are you are not a good person. You, like I said, you have no empathy, compassion or anything else, anything else. Your, your sense of entitlement and your sense of, uh, of superiority really showed when you did that, when you did that, that, that post. And that's foul. Absolutely foul. You are not Joan Rivers. You failed miserably at making jokes about fashion and the Grammys and the award shows. Your opinions, you, you're not Joan Rivers. And you have no, you, you're not a comedian and you're not Joan Rivers. You failed, dude. You failed. And again, I, I have no problem with your critiques about, um, you know, uh, um, wearing a, a sleeveless dress or a topless dress and having all the tattoos there, you know, totally distracts from, from the, the gown and things like that. Yeah. If somebody can read between your disgusting comments, they can understand what 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 you're what what you're what you're crit criticizing and 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 i would agree with that in the sense that yeah this is not how we should be presenting ourselves as human beings and i agree but again i also have enough empathy intelligence and compassion for the world to understand that these people ex these people's expression is a reflection of human the state of human beings today and as opposed to you I take that on as 
including myself, our, our failure as human beings. You execute and communicate in a way that says that's you over there. There's no way that I would ever be like that or anybody of my elk or my tribe could ever be like that. And that's foul. That is not, that is not the message of any Abrahamic religion at all, including your own. You're a foul person. You're a very foul person. I've watched you for years, dude. There's a lot. And when, when I have, when I'm such a poor nigger, you know, since, you know, when I have the resources to compete with what you've got and, and everything else, I'll be glad to show you the receipts of who you are as a person. Because your nasty comments that you have made over the years, nasty, 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 nasty comments that you have made over, over the years need to be revealed to you. And I really believe in my heart of hearts, no religion, no religion, especially in the Abrahamic religions, would co-sign for your behavior, your attitude, your judgment, execution, and jury of, uh, 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 of the things that you have said and what you have stated. You're a foul person, Ben Shapiro. You have no business, none whatsoever, doing commentation on fashion. Stay in your lane. You're not a comedian. You're not a woman. You're not Joan Rivers. You failed at doing that. That's foul. Stick to the shit you know, dude. But what you did by doing that, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong on so many levels. I'm on my soapbox about this, man. Whoever else watches this soapbox slam, y'all, I mean, I, I listen to opposition because I'm not like a person like Ben Shapiro where my way is the only holy high, ho ho holy way that I am willing to learn to negotiate and win some and lose some and come into the middle and listen to my opposition and truly listen with an, with, with an open mind to under, listen to understand it doesn't mean just because I'm listening to you doesn't mean I'm going to agree with you. Just because I'm listening to you doesn't mean that I'm going to automatically take your side. What it means is I'm I'm opening my mind to have compassion to include compassion, empathy, compassion and empathy for what your position is so that I can somehow possibly put my person myself in somebody else's shoes shoes and see how they came to be who they are or the circumstances under which they came from which is something that you all human beings ought to do but something that you clearly mr shapiro would never do which is what makes you a foul person which makes you wrong on every account even when you do stay in your lane and talk about your own politics it's what it's what makes you wrong you're foul, dude. And I'm on my soapbox to tell people, whoever's listening, whoever wants to watch, whoever has an opinion about this type of stuff, whether you want to listen to your opposition and listen to the, some of the things that Ben Shapiro says or you don't, stay away from that man. That man will lead you wrong. He is not a good person. Ben Shapiro is not a good human being.